and welcome to the Flight Sim Deck. My name is Patrick and today we're going to talk about my most asked question and that is what I use for AI. So we're going to get into exactly that and I'm going to show you what I do. It's a totally free method, maybe not the best out there, but it is what I do. First you need to go to worldofai.com, the link will be in the description. Go up to packages, go over here to the right where it says all World of AI packages, click that. Right here is the installer. You will need to first download that, so keep that in mind. And uh, then you have a whole list of um, all the liveries. I'm, these, these are airlines that I'm sure you've never even heard of before. They have everything in here. I mean, everything. So you can download these, and we're going to do this uh, Virgin America one just, just to show you how to do it. Uh, you got to do it through AV Sim or Flight Sim. Click the link. You'll have to have an account on this website. It's free to sign up if you don't have one. Most people are familiar with this page and uh, have seen it before. So once you get over here, uh, go over to the right where it says download and give that a click. It'll take you to this page and then it'll prompt you if you want to save it or not. And we do, so we're going to save it out. And then uh, once you have downloaded the installer and the livery, extract the installer to a new folder. So we've extracted it all here on the window on the right. These are, these are all the files. And we're going to click the installer. Then go up to the top here and click the livery you want to add. We have uh, two files here. I have the Korean Airlines livery and I also have the Japan Airlines so we're gonna do the Korean Air make sure uh, this box down here extract files for manual installation is checked that's very important and then set up your um, output directory hit agree and then click next and just extract and now it should extract delivery to the folder you set up and right here it says Korean Airlines down here click that and you got two folders, aircraft and scenery. These are the two important folders. Open up aircraft, select all these folders. There'll be different amounts of folders depending on the airline. Click those. Bring them over to sim objects in your uh, P3D root folder. And just paste them into the airplanes folder. Then go back. And now we're going to do the scenery. Click scenery, world, scenery. Copy that and go over to the scenery folder scroll down to world scenery and paste it on in there and now that's it that's all you need to do and it should be loaded into your sim and as you can see these files here these are the other ones that I've added they all say traffic dash zero zero and then the airline and here is the Korean Air flight uh, this is at KSFO and uh, this is how I know it works because I never added it before. Uh, one more thing you need to know is uh, you need to have the airline traffic slided all the way to 100. I like to have the general aviation on too, but airline traffic is the most important one. Now, also, this traffic doesn't really get going until about 30 or 40 minutes into it, so keep that in mind. Not all airports use every liver livery. It's, um, it knows what airport has which planes. Um, some airports come with planes like this already, like you see this Delta here is static to the Eagle County Airport. So that's some things to keep in mind about this uh, airline traffic. Now some scenery airports just happen to populate the AI a lot better. This is uh, Imagine Sims Atlanta. It always populates with a lot of Delta flights as it should. So that's also a factor and the time of day of when you're flying can also matter. So keep those things in mind. All right, guys, that's going to conclude this tutorial. I um, hope it helps you out and gets you going with your AI traffic. All right, guys, you take care. See you next time.